How's it going guys, and welcome back to me exploring and charting the ocean border. Today I'm going to finish up the series by exploring the west ocean border and the west side of the south ocean border, ending when the border reconnects with the wind continent, and I'll be mapping out every discovery I find along the way. And sorry for asking, but it would be appreciated if you subscribed, because recording this will take around an hour, and then editing it will probably take around another hour. But it's all good if you don't. I'd appreciate it if you did though. That's enough from me, let's get to the video. Whoa! Wait, what is that? Do not believe I've ever seen this before. Oh, I just realized this is the place where one of the ingredients for the recipe of disaster quest spawns. So I think I'll still mark it down as notable since this is involved in a quest. I think there's also a reef down there next to the raspberry stalk, but since it's basically right on the edge of Joe Fush, it's pretty obvious that it's there. I'll note it anyway as basic just to be safe. Oh, is that regular island down there? Cause I've heard of regular island from like a while ago. I think it has some funny mobs on it, let's take a quick look. Oh yeah, this is definitely regular island, with the fake mobs. Hey look! Finally! Normal people! Just leave me here, literally anybody would be better than you! What? You mean they're not humans? They look human to me! Oh, so what? Anybody who looks different from you is suddenly not human? Wow, and Earth was thinking you couldn't get any worse! Let's just get out of here before they hear you and start a turn on you! Stupid mushroom. You know what, screw it, I'll just note this is notable on the map. Wait, what is this? In another place. Retired Buccaneer. It's like a little sand castle in a hut. And there also appears to be like, is that just, is there just more tents here? And there's like, coconut crustaceans and other things. Huh. So this dude's just kind of at the edge of the border, retired. And just relaxing. Is there another, uh, thingy up here as well? What's up here? Hmm. Yeah, it looks like dude's just chillin', retired. That's awesome. Alright, yeah, this is a... This is another decently sized build. I'll note it is basic. Oh, there's a boat over there. Huh. Oh, we found an abandoned camp. Heck yeah. What's on that boat? Before I mark the abandoned camp. Well, it looks to be just like coconuts and stuff. Interesting. What's going on over there? Wait, the... The river, like, dips down. Okay, I'm gonna know this is a camp. Like, camp plus ship, as a basic. And then I'm gonna investigate some more. Okay, so there seems to also be some, uh... Insane backpackers around. Oh, there's a cave. There's a cave here, too. Okay, let's take a look at this. Yeah, insane backpackers, crazy fishermen. And this cave goes kind of deep. Hmm. Oh, and it's, like, partially... You can access it through the water. Interesting. What happens if we go even deeper? Okay, a loot chest. Is that all? Seems to be a level 40 loot chest, interestingly enough. Yeah, that's all there is to this cave. Huh. This feels slightly notable, because it's kind of deep and it's full of hostile mobs. I'll note it down as the crazy cave, because why not? Because there appears to be some kind of outcrop of land here with insane backpackers standing around. If I check my map, let me just check this out. Huh. So this area kind of sticks out a bit, that's interesting. What happens if I explore this area? Let's take a quick look inside. Because this is uh, quite interesting, I don't think I've seen this before, like, ever. Plus it's lit up in here. Alright, so... Inside of this cave, it looks like there's an abandoned camp. And a boat, too. That's interesting. And it seems to loop around here. And if we go into this entrance from the back, What's in this cave? Coconut crustaceans, of course. Bunch of, like, foods. Like, crates of food. I think I'll mark this as a notable area and call it the Abandoned Outpost, because this feels more like an outpost than it is a camp since it's quite big. But unlike the Avo Outpost, there's nobody here. Oh, and I might as well just note this as another camp, because why not? Oh, wait, what's this? There's a... There's like a bridge down here, and this cave is lit up as well. Oh, this is an interesting looking place. Okay, so there's a camp up here. Wait, a sign. Go away. There's a remote. Whoa, wait! Where are we? What are you doing here? Laboratory key. Wait, stop! Don't take that! It's it's probably worthless! Nothing p worth p picking up! I'm sure you wouldn't even know how to use it! You, you idiot! 
What is this? Wait. Day 27. It seems we have a new member. I can't believe we even let that abomination uh, to nature stay with us. We're leaving suddenly for some reason. The new member said it was urgent, so we gathered all the essentials started leaving. Final entry. It seems our new member has left behind a strange trinket. Oh well, I should get going now, or I'll be left behind. And what does this one say? Day 20. Our trek to the end of the ocean has come to a halt as I broke my leg and when I tripped on a thing. Day 21. It seems I tripped on something living. It's fond of showing off its diverse vocabulary, to say the least. Is this law for the talking mushroom? Okay, wait. This might be... Major, perhaps. It looks like it also loops around here. It's a well-lit cave. And it becomes more ocean boarded this way. Alright, I'm gonna check out the inside of that cave, because this seems like it could be quite interesting. It might be even major, because... Uh, this seems like it might have some interesting lore significance to it. Ooh. Oh wow, look at look at this area. Like a more abandoned like ruins and camps and all kinds of things. Okay, another like forgotten building from the looks of it. And a dip down over there. It's like there's a ton of emerald around here as well. I wonder just where does this key go? Surely it is somewhere in here, right? Alright, so I'm gonna mark that camp as notable because it contains this key used in an easter egg later in the game involving the talking mushroom. I'll make a video about that tomorrow, by the way. And I'll also mark that cave as notable, just because it's very big and full of a lot of abandoned structures, so... That's the secret camp, and that's the large abandoned cave. Wait, what is that? Hang on, there's another structure down here. Wait, it's kind of big, too. Wait, hang on. Defiled Explorer. Okay, so there's a camp here, and... Attached to the camp appears to be... A trail leading to some sort of, like, cave or structure with defiled explorers at level 35 guarding it. Let's see what's in here. Oh, and there's a loot chest out in, out in front, in front of this, uh, magical thingy. Alright, let's check inside. A lot of defiled explorers and ruins defiler. Strange. Okay, we got another, like... Abandoned tent with a tier 3 loot chest in it. Nice. What seems to be like some sort of splatter floating on the middle of the water here. And another loot chest in front of what looks to be some kind of ritual point. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. It's like a skull with a knife in it. I think I'll label this as notable, and I was thinking of labeling it Defiled Cave, but honestly, Defiled Den sounds cooler. Alright, that's Half Moon Island. I'm not gonna mark it though, because it's already labeled. Ooh, yet another, like, camp hidden inside of, like, this, uh, this area that's, like, covered up by the terrain. That's pretty cool. And yet another abandoned camp. Uh, Windcraft Border Classic, a basic one. Oh, there's some- there's something down here, what is this? Piranha and... Cursed Pirate. Oh, that's interesting, there's like a tunnel of cursed pirates here. Does the tunnel just like connect this part with that part without you having to swim? Huh. It looks like there's some kind of fortress here, or is it? It's hard to tell. Let's take a look. Huh. Looks like some kind of like demolition place that's just been left. And what are these? Just cave bats? Looks like somebody was meaning to mine here or something using all of these explosives. From the looks of the materials and stuff here too, it looks like this is just some kind of abandoned mine. I think I'll label this tunnel and this abandoned mine as one notable thing and call it the Cursed Pirate Domain because this area is basically infested with the Cursed Pirate mob. Wait, is that a cave up there? Really? Wait, it's... Is that some kind of grave? Considering the flowers, and the skull, and the look of the building, I'm gonna label this as a basic, called the Abandoned Memorial. Huh. It looks like near this, uh, like, cape of the ocean border, there's like, a boat, with like, cake and stuff on it. Winnick Sailor, huh. So it looks like there are people from Wynn sailing the sea here, and they have a lot of food on their boats. Let's check down here. Ah, yeah. There's just a bunch of sailors down here. That's cool. I gotta say, though the... I gotta say, though we've nearly reached the end, this, like, 
outcrop of land that goes above and then comes back down is like such a cool piece of terrain to see before the end. Well, it looks like there are some more cursed pirates here, a bit further out from the rest of the cursed pirates. Is that a cave there as well? Ooh, beach spiders. Hmm. So there's a spider cave? Warning, spiders ahead, I see. Huh, so there's an abandoned camp with some shipwrecked man, some cursed pirates, and a spider cave. Considering there's so much stuff in this one spot, I'll have to name it something like Spider Cave plus Shipwrecked Man plus Ruins. <laughs> Despite all those structures though, it's still a basic. I and mean, it looks like with this camp, we're finally linked back up to the Wind Continent. Because over there is Pirate Cove. And over here is the outskirts of Bremingwell. So at long last, our journey around the ocean borders is finally complete. So I'll mark this point of the trail as the end of the voyage. So after all this time, this is what the completed map looks like. In the description, there's a Reddit post which I've posted this map and the other parts of the series on, so if you want to download this map and use it for yourself, go and check it out. And before I end this video, I'd like to thank you all for watching this series. Though it took a good amount more effort than my usual daily videos, I really enjoyed it, because this was my first time going across all three ocean borders myself, so this was my first time seeing everything the borders had to offer firsthand. This is Mindura Face, and do you think you'll ever take a trip around the ocean borders yourself? Honestly, I'd recommend it. Have a good one!